talk about the blatant disrespect, child. Coming up on a Real Housewives of Atlanta after show. Daughter. Daughter. <laughs> Is she just saving face for us so that she doesn't seem bothered? So you asked him if it was his daughter. It was a little weird having them sleeping in our bed <laughs> doing their love scenes. Because Candy don't like to pay. A lot. There you go. It should oh, pay, she... but it's gonna be that much pay. You know, Anthony made the connection between me and Martel. Anthony has a marketing degree. That's all I'll say. <laughs> Wait, no, you, no, 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 you want to apologize to him? No. I apologize for not smacking the out of you. That's what I apologize for. <laughs> the Real Housewives of Atlanta after show starts right now. The biggest reveal of the baby reveal was not Mecca. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lord! Hi, Hi kids! Daughter? Daughter! <laughs> you didn't tell this story. We were married and everything. I didn't know. <laughs> What's not, going on with hold, daughter? Okay, hold on, hold so, on. So, apparently, Bob has an, apparently Bob has an older daughter. But, Sheree, hold never on. Know about. Sheree, never but know first, about. You, you gotta, so you get, we got to paint the picture. <laughs> we are there, right? It's like 4,000 people there, as usual, yeah, Sheree so style. And everybody else is in nude, except for Akilah, which that pissed me off. But anyways, the only people in pink We're are family. the family members, right? Okay. okay, so imagine now, we on the sidelines, so we know everybody else. We can, we can account for everybody else, but there's this random girl. So you think it's his girlfriend? Okay, it's his girlfriend, so I'm Martell being funny. Now. So I'm saying, Martell, Martell, Martell. Oh! <laughs> that first Martell wasn't in either. Martell, come on. The whole time I'm thinking this, I'm still thinking it's his girlfriend. He told you guys us, yes. before I found out. Woo! Talk about the blatant disrespect, child. At the baby reveal, you decide to reveal another baby? I thought it was apropos. Talk about the audacity. Why didn't Sheree know about it? Yeah, why didn't you know about it? We were on the need to know basis of things back then. But then at some point, you what are you talking about? about? Talk about the nerve of some people. Like, really, dude? That was your wife. I know it wasn't my business, but. <laughs> I had questions. So you know older than Cairo. Did you know back then? But Sheree oh, didn't know? I did not know it was gonna be Bob's Inquisition. <laughs> well, I had more questions than she did, apparently. I wanna see Sheree's face on it, cause she's you just will. so gangster with <laughs> accepting stuff. Like, I was like, oh, okay, okay, what's your name? Or... Sheree was like, oh, oh, okay. Sheree, what happened? I am Lord, We was asking Bob all kind of questions. Being a piece of shit and still a piece of shit. How about that? I don't know. I just felt like, is she just saving face for us so that she doesn't seem bothered? Mm. Because regardless of whether they're not together or not, right? She was married to him for years. She yeah. has a whole family with him. They have history. Yeah. He didn't, like, I would be like, you don't even- Doing the math. I would be like, like, hold up. I got questions. I don't think Sheree really shows her true feelings initially. I think if you get it from Sheree, it's it's later. Just like with Tyrone, she she kept a brave face. So where's Tyrone? We know he's true. Where's Tyrone? Yeah. He just couldn't make it. Until it all like really kind of blew up. I drove to Philly to meet Tyrone. He wasn't answering my calls. He wasn't responding to texts. So I look stupid as Crazy as Dumb as and I am trying not to cry. I think she did the same thing with Bob when Bob was mistreating her in the marriage and when she was with us. She never revealed it until, until it like blew up in her face. I don't remember choking her, but if I did, I'm sorry. Because maybe I didn't choke you hard enough. And I think it's the same thing with this uh, side child. She's gonna try to keep a brave face until she can't anymore. From what I got from gather from my kids is that he's oh, not so taking he a test. Oh, mm -mm. He but he just uh, yeah. So you asked him if it was his daughter. I never asked him. And everything too is like you've been out of love with Bob for so long. Yeah. Like you're like who cares? Like at that you know it's not like it's like yeah. a new thing and y'all just yeah. or like, we were together. Right. Or you know he's right on uh, right after or between my kids. Yeah. It was not, none of that. Mm -hmm. I mean I'm glad to know he has a relationship with his child. Yeah. Um, I just wish he would not have just thrown that. Mm. on everybody, or thrown it on Sheree at least, because it seems like the kids already know. Yeah, he's a winner. He's a winner.
Sheree had a guest at Mecca Sip and See who you weren't expecting. It was like a slap in my face. I'm not gonna come in. Why are you not coming in? There's a man here that literally assaulted me. You had a physical altercation with her. No, she got a reading because she owes me a coin, honey, and she owes her husband an apology, honey. Man, did you throw shoes at her? I threw my shoes at her because she threw her cheap ass bag at me. I mean, I wouldn't have necessarily invited him. I feel like not only did he say things and, and do things to Drew. Well, he threw a shoe at me. He said that your husband is gay and all that, so. But he said some bad things about Shrey, too. As we all know, it's no shade. She don't like to pay. So? Yeah, but she introduced, he introduced her to Martell. Oh, he did? Yeah. Me and Martell are friends. I just, you know, Anthony made the connection between me and Martell. So, that's interesting. About the man, honey. Oh, I didn't know that. What do you know about that, Drew? Um, I know that Anthony has a marketing degree, and um, that's all I'll say. <laughs> you know, because I'm not going to say, you know, specifically, but I know he has a marketing degree. You can call a blogger and have them meet in the back road, in the rocky road, and mm. you know, that it was. Anthony that put it together. So I'm just saying, I understand why he was probably invited. Anthony and I um, made up last, last year. He yeah, apologized. He said he didn't say most of the, you know, the things yeah. that uh, Drew said he said. Mm -hmm. and so damn much. To be honest, with, I know she lies so much so you just never know what to believe. Mm -hmm. But she, he also said that I think she or her assistant would invite him still to different events. Like, oh. he got an invite to Ross's uh, birthday party. Not Ross, I'm sorry, Ralph. Oh, she had an invite to uh, oh, she Ralph. Had Ralph. 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 <laughs> yeah, so yeah. The, the assistant is yeah. still in contact with uh, Anthony, so I didn't think it would be an issue. Right. They probably were not the only two people in the room who did not get along. Right. But Can we have a little conversation? Oh, oh, no. People are able to be grown. Right. And, and cordial. Fast. And cordial. Exactly. And just coexist. Yeah, I understand it's your party. You can invite who you want to invite. But you can give her a heads up. What Candy said. But you could have said, okay, well, I'm going to bring my husband. Or you could have brought someone with you to make you feel protected in well, some way. I did invite my husband to come. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, you it is somebody. Mm -hmm. I mean. Or been prepared at least. Yeah. To be honest with you, it wasn't on my mind. Yeah. I was not thinking about thinking Drew about, oh, wait, when you, I was you planning. Have a million people come, yeah, yeah, when I'm planning like, Mecca's uh, should not sip and see, I'm not thinking about the last person who might plan your grandbaby yeah. sip and see.